And that's a wrap for Ballara Station. That place was so much fun. <laughs> I loved it. I went there for one night, ended up staying three. Um, the burger night last night was awesome fun. And those burgers are just oh, mouth-wateringly good. Um, oh, seriously, that was seriously one of the highlights, one of the best places I've stayed. All the staff that work there, all people that have been traveling. Uh, they're from every corner of Australia, some international as well. Uh, and they're all just super friendly and they all just love what they're doing. Um, yeah, if you're coming up to Exmouth, put that on your list, 100%. Uh, for now though, we're pushing forward. We're heading towards Panawanika, which is just um, Exmouth side. So just west of um, Karajini and up a little bit. So uh, yeah, don't really know what to expect, but we'll go out and have a look. And then uh, probably over the next couple of days, we'll aim for Karajini. Anyway, <laughs> Ali's absolutely knackered. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty dusty too. <laughs> Timmy decided to uh, come join me at the station last night and decided to follow me on this leg of the journey. Um, Timmy's the gentleman who came and did that ridgeline walk with me um, at Charles Knife uh, Gorge. So he, uh, he came up, he's traveling with his dog as well. He's from Vic in, uh, and he's traveling in a Y62 with a rooftop tent as well. So yeah, he's, uh, he's coming with me along this part. Not too sure how far he's gonna go, but um, yeah, it's good to have some company. But um, yeah, we're just driving through the Pilbara now and it is beautiful, like awesome mountain ranges around us, red dirt, um, yeah, just driving through all this flat land and all of a sudden you met with these mountains, which is sick. <laughs> anyway, we'll go explore and uh, yeah, see what else we can find. Until September, I'm a bit gutted because I really wanted to find a rodeo on this trip. Um, running out of time, I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to tick that one off. But um, yeah, I'm shattered. <laughs> I will definitely organise to go to a rodeo at some point. It's probably just not going to be this one. But check out this place; it is awesome. Sick. seconds ago I said that if there were no plans it would look like we're on Mars. Well, this is what's in front of us. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm on another planet. This place is incredible. How mad is that? This is epic.
we just stumbled across this campsite and we have it all to ourselves. How cool is this? And it's on a dried up riverbed, all these little rocks, but look what's behind me. Look at that! Panawanica Hill. How mental is that? So, we're camping up there. And we're just about to walk up here to check out this thing. <laughs> How cool is that? Camera's not gonna do it justice. It's freaking huge. Definitely wearing appropriate footwear for this. How is the view? Tim's struggling. <laughs> so, just walking around the top here. Something's definitely living in that. Okay, there's a bit of a dead animal carcass right at the bottom. Very cool though. And have a look at the view. Oh, don't mind the million flies buzzing around. There's another cave, another home for a dingo or something. Bloody, um, it's just saying. This is like something off bloody Lion King. These are like where all the hyenas sit and just prey on all the animals down below. <laughs> So this is around the back side, another little dingo home. How cool is that? This morning before we left um, Lara Station, Tim raced in and grabbed some of their patties. <laughs> Literally these patties are from um, the stock which they have on the station. So super fresh and super delicious. All packed up and ready to hit the road. Today's plan, we are going to head into Karatha. It is Sunday. Um, we've got some running around to do in town and unfortunately being Sunday, everything will be closed. So um, Karatha is a place that I've always been interested in seeing. My old man actually does shutdown works um, up at the mines and my brother's just started as well. So very keen to have a look around. Um, I believe it's a pretty big city. So yeah, we'll go poke our noses up there and uh, have a bit of a look around, I think. But. Yeah, we'll show what we find. Middle of the gorge and there's a boot tree. <laughs> That's so cool. built-up area I didn't do a lot of filming it's quite a built-up area just due to all the mine sites that are out here you can tell there's a bit of money here um, we've decided we are gonna go over and check out the Dampier Peninsula I think we're gonna probably book into a caravan park over there uh, just for the night charge up everything um, and then we'll probably aim to head back down towards Karajini tomorrow ish I think so 
Yeah, uh, Dampier Peninsula looks really nice. Another coastal uh, caravan park that we're booking into, so we'll go check that out. Welcome to the Dampier Peninsula. <laughs> Red Dog Memorial. saw the Red Dog Memorial. I'm not sure if you know about Red Dog. There's a, mo a couple of mo movies that were made about Red Dog. Um, it was a cattle dog that um, was befriended by a bus driver and uh, unfortunately the bus driver after many many years of the dog following it around uh, passed away in a tragic car accident and then the dog just decided to go wander about the Pilbara. <laughs> made friends with heaps of people in the region um, just used to catch buses and trains and just just traveled as a travel dog a nomad <laughs> uh, Really good movie, but uh, yeah, that's a memorial for it I think that's where the dog was originally born or lived. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah super cool If you haven't seen that movie go check it out So we just got to the Dampier um, caravan park. Oh, it's not really a caravan park, it's just a camping site. This is it here. Waterfront, obviously, you can see out there, a couple of the ships, and this is just us. And just uh, did another addition to the Navara. Um, I've put in a charger that allows me to charge off 240 volt. It's a hardcore one. It's actually uh, the it does, it's a 25 amp. They, they do two different ones. There's a 25 amp and I think a 15 amp. But because I've got a 200 amp, amp hour lithium, uh, I thought it'd be good just to go the bigger one. Um, so every time I get to a caravan park, I can actually charge it off 240 volt, which is new. So yeah. bar down there wouldn't let us in because we have dogs. This bar, don't know that they're open yet, but we got the whole place to ourselves. How freaking cool. <laughs> Max, ready for another walk? Ali, ready for a walk? <laughs> Max, walk, walk. It is Monday and we are pointing our noses towards Karajini. We've got to go back into Karatha and stock up on a few things, but then we are going to be pushing our way through. Hit the red dirt. Oh, yeah, the long ass 
train. Here we are, tonight's camp. <laughs> so cool. Got a nice fire going over there, gonna cook some dinner. There's no more fire bans in uh, WA, which is good. We're out of that period. Obviously extreme heat, we have to be careful and obviously still have to be careful here. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's actually a bit cool tonight. The clouds have come over and it's cooled off a little bit. But um, that there, probably can't tell, but that there is huge. I've suggested in the morning, depending on how we're feeling, I think we should try to hike to the top of it. We'll see how we're feeling, because you did go for a run this morning, but I'm freaking keen. Just packed up, just about to take on this monstrous mountain. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera how big it is, but I reckon it's gonna be at least an hour and a half each way. And I think we might have to go up to this first sort of ridge line here, and then maybe duck over to the right, then go up the top. So that, uh, that cliff at the top looks like a bit of a pinch. Don't know that we'll be able to get up there, especially with two dogs, so. Oh well, we'll show you what the view's like at the top. And we're off. Big ass hill. We're seeing a lot more of these termite mounds now. Quite big, some of them. Like this one's taller than I am. This is me standing on the ground. Bloody big things. Really cool too. Alrighty, we are at the base of this mountain. It's just a random mountain. I don't know what the name of it is. We had a look on the maps, we couldn't find anything. We're about to climb it. Tim's just set his uh, Garmin watch. Show us how high the elevation is. We've both put in a guess. I reckon it's probably 300 meters. Yeah, it's about 300. Yeah, 250, 300 meters up, we reckon. And pretty steep too, so wish us luck. We'll meet you at the top. Already gassed, we're not even at the steep part. Wind's picked up too. Fun! <laughs> All right, first pinch done. That was actually a lot bigger than we thought. Look how high we are. Right down there, just down there is our cars. You can just see my, the white speck of mine. Tim's is behind a tree. But yeah, we still got this to go. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, well, let's do it. Bloody steep. Stay. Oh yeah. Well worth up against. This is what we're battling to get down. Whoop. You can see. Stoop. How good are flies? <laughs> They're so annoying. They're fucking everywhere. I'm on a diet of at least five a day. <laughs> oh. All right, so we just tried to conquer that mountain. Fortunately, we couldn't get to the top. Over here, it looks like that ridge line 
connects up over the back there and we were going to walk up and then walk up that long side but it actually isn't there's actually a massive drop off over there i was going to get the drone up but there's an airport right here and it's within a no fly zone so can't actually show you but we did still manage to get to the base of that top steep cliffy part um extremely high we get estimated it was 300 meters at the top there it was what was it 270 yeah, 270 where we were, and it's probably another 30 metres, so the 300 estimate probably wasn't too bad. Shame we couldn't get up there, but the views from where we did get to were stunning nonetheless. So, anyway, we're going to push forward. We're going to head over to uh, Karajini National Park. <laughs> 